Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome to my 1 million subscriber Q&A special. It took a while to get around to, to making this video and I apologize about that, but there's a very important reason why. I, I wanted to wait for something. There was something that was very important that I wanted to wait for to record this video and it has finally arrived. You guys probably already know what it is, but it's pretty stinking cool. It's the golden black. Look at that thing. It's so shiny and pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So you guys, uh, thank you. Seriously. Like, I I can't believe that the channel has gotten to this point and it wouldn't be here with all of the without all of the support that you guys have shown me. It is truly unbelievable. So seriously, thank you guys. This this is all of ours. We all earned this together. So this is going up on the wall back there very, very soon. In fact, probably today. Because it's not that hard to put up on a wall. If you don't see it. In the next video, then you know that I'm just being lazy. But it'll be there. And just as a little like behind the scenes note before we jump into the questions here, when you guys are watching this, I am most likely now a dad. I'll let you in on a little secret here. Most of these videos that you're watching right now, probably starting yesterday, have been recorded ahead of time to prepare for the birth of my son. And this one goes out like the day after I, I don't know like I mean obviously the timing of of a pregnancy and, and birth and all that stuff uh, it, it can be kind of unknown but there's a high probability that when you guys are watching this I'm now a new dad and probably terrified out of my mind holding a very very small human being which seems crazy but awesome all at the same time so I thought I'd let you guys in on that a little behind the scenes secret. But now, without further ado, let's jump into some of the questions that you guys have asked me. So the first question comes from Ziga Burkopek. I butchered your name and I'm sorry, but you asked, would you rather record with Dennis Daly or with Dan TDM? That's a great question. I think both of them are very, very nice individuals. At least, I mean, I don't know them personally, but based on the content that they create, they seem both like very nice people. I think I would prefer to record with Dan TDM, not because I have anything against Dennis Daly, but I feel like Dan TDM, he's he's around the same age as me. Dennis is probably, a, a he's several years younger than me. Dan TDM, I think, is just a couple years younger than me, and uh, I feel like maybe we're kind of in similar points in our lives. You know, we're both married. Uh, we're both a little bit older than the average youtuber. I hate to admit it And maybe we have just a little bit more in common, you know We grew up around playing the same games and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that I would really enjoy uh, Collaborating with Dan DDM. So uh, if you're out there, you know, obviously he's not but you know, that would be fun Just saying Dennis too. It's open to you too if you're watching this again Probably not. Crazy Cactus asks when you first played granny were you scared or nervous? also what made you want to become a YouTuber? Well, that's a loaded question. Let's answer the first part though. When I first played Granny, yes, I was scared. Absolutely. I had no idea what I was getting into. All I saw was the creepy old lady. And the weird thing about Granny, and maybe I've told this story before, but I thought that when I played it, that it was based on Hello Neighbor. I honestly played it as a ripoff of Hello Neighbor. The fact is, it came out before Hello Neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of crazy. So that was my bad. But yeah now part two what made you want to become a youtuber? Hmm, you know, that's that's a tough one. That's a tough one I never expected to be a quote-unquote Youtuber, but what kind of made things happen was that I always had a passion for making videos I always had a passion for playing video games and so making videos playing video games that kind of was combined in this hobby and it absolutely started out as a hobby never did I expect it to be like my job so when I took those two passions and put them together and started making videos about video games it was just kind of a fun outlet for me to kind of uh, tap into my creative side because let's face it I did IT before this there's not a lot of creativity in IT you, you, you press buttons you tell people to turn their computer computers on and off and that's that's pretty much it that's the job in a nutshell not a lot of room for creativity so this was a nice outlet for me to do that so hopefully that answers your question Deancy girl 
asks, what will you name your son that's coming in March? That's still a secret, but I think I'll let you guys in on it soon. Very, very soon, I promise. Just not yet. You'll have to hold out. And Sanchez asks, a question I have is, Kian, your real name. Also, do you have any pets? If so, what animals and what is the name? So yes, Kian is my real name. That was the name that was given to me when I was born. Now I will let you guys in on a little secret though. K-E-Y-I-N, which is the way that it's spelt on the channel and the way that I spell it for the most part is not actually the way that I spell my name. In high school, I started spelling it that way because the real way that it's spelt leaves a lot of room for interpretation. We'll just put it that way. People get it wrong a lot of the times. So I just started spelling it phonetically, K-E-Y-I-N. That way people didn't mess it up. Now, do I have any pets? I do, and you've probably seen them here and there. Uh, not as much anymore now that I'm in my own little secluded shed here. But I have a dog, his name is Harvey. He's a little fluffy Maltese poodle, we think, but he was a rescue dog, so we don't know exactly what he is. He's a good puppers though. He's a little bit older, but he's a special part of our family. And then we have a cat. Her name is Emery. She's a big, black, fluffy, cat and she hates everything. I don't know if she hates everything, but she's like, she's, she's a scaredy cat. She doesn't normally get close to people. Really the only people that she gets close to are me and my wife. And for some reason, me, she's like really bonded with me, which is weird because can I let you guys in on a secret? I didn't really want her. My wife did. And now she's like my cat for some reason. It's weird. So moving on, Abby D asks, how did you come up with the name Kindly Kian for your YouTube channel? Well, I kind of already explained how I got the name Kian. I was born with it. And I just thought that the kindly part kind of rolled off the tongue, I guess. It just sounded good. And when I started the channel, I always wanted it to be a place of kind of like positive, you know, a positive place. And I thought kindly, it's a positive word. So it all just kind of worked together. I remember, I mean, it was like literally the middle of the night. See, my friend and I, we had been talking about the idea of starting a YouTube channel, but we were kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's hard. It takes a lot of time getting together, like figuring this out. But we were all kind of brainstorming on names for a channel. And uh, for whatever reason, this name just popped into my head in the middle of the night one night. I wrote it down and then I think a few days later, I actually started the channel. Now I started the channel, and when I say started the channel, I mean like I created the account on Google and on YouTube and all that stuff. But I didn't actually make any videos for it until about nine months after actually creating that name. So I sat on it for a while, wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do. But here we are, Simran Corporal asks, how long have you been playing Granny and Hello Neighbor? Well, I guess I've been playing Hello Neighbor since November of 2017. And that was really the first breakout hit of my channel. That was the first game that I played that really started bringing in viewers and subscribers. And then Granny, we started playing at the very beginning of 2018. I think it was in February when I released my first video of Granny. And I honestly, like I said, I released it with the idea that it was a ripoff of Hello Neighbor. I later found out that that was completely wrong, and honestly, it was a very different game. Similar concept, you know, you're in the house, you have puzzles to kind of solve, but different. Next question, Shabnam Johnson. That is, that is a fun name to say. Congratulations. Simple question though, how old are you? You know it's bad when you have to stop and actually think about how old you are, and I'm at that point. When people ask me how old I am, I actually have to pause for a second. I am currently 31 years old, but I will be 32 in like, I don't know, a few weeks. So basically, to answer your question, I am old. What more can I say? So next up is a question from Denvi. Before you started your YouTube career, you were working in an IT company. What were you doing there? Were you coding? If so, what language was it? Well, let me answer that last question first. No, I was not coding. And I have no experience coding or programming. I know a lot of times people get those jobs very confused. They're like, oh, you make software. No, no, I support the software, but I have no idea how to create it. So my actual title at my job before YouTube was IT Support Specialist. Three. Ooh, yeah, I was, 
I was way up there. No, but in all seriousness, it was a good job. I had it for a long time. I did it for 10 years. I was definitely comfortable, and that's, that's a tough word. I was definitely comfortable with my role and the job that I had. I was good at it. I'd been doing it for a long time. I was efficient all that good stuff. But basically I had to travel to different locations for the company that I worked for. I had a location where my office was, but a lot of times I was driving around the entire state, going to different locations and supporting those groups for a day or a, two days or something like that, depending on what kind of support they needed and then moving on. It definitely kept me busy. I didn't love the driving. It's weird that I ended up with a job that required so much driving because I don't really like driving all that much, but it was the job. And so I did it, but thank you for that question. Let's move on to the next one. Person with 10,000 subscribers with no videos. That is their name. They asked, what was the first game you played on your channel and why? The first game that I played on my channel was Mega Man X. And the reason for that is because it's my favorite game. It was a game that I was comfortable with. And to be real with you guys, when you first start making videos, especially in the context of making a let's play video, it's a very different experience than just playing video games. I thought it would be easy. It's not. It's awkward and weird. When you first start out, you don't know exactly what to say. You don't know how to say it. You don't know what you're saying. You've spent your entire life internalizing the dialogue that you have in your head when you're playing video games, right? You're always, your head's always going. It's always talking. There's always thoughts in your brain, but you spent your entire life keeping them in there. And then suddenly you're supposed to just bleh, just talk and it's awkward. So I decided on playing Mega Man X because it was a game that I was incredibly familiar with. And so I was kind of getting the hang of the whole uh, commentary thing. And it's still awful. If you go, you can go back, you can sort my videos by, by most recent. And then you scroll all the way to the very, very bottom and you will find my first video there. I haven't deleted any videos. All of the videos that I've ever published and put out to YouTube are still there and they're still bad. But yeah, I played Mega Man X and I still love the game. I still play it from time to time. It's good times. Morgan Dunn has a interesting question that actually a lot of people ask. Why do you wear hats? The simple answer is that I like them. And I've always worn hats. I used to skateboard a lot. And so when you skateboard, you sweat. And one of the things that's kind of gross about sweating is that it drips down your face and it gets in your eyes. And you do not want sweat in your eyeballs when you're skateboarding. So I would wear hats a lot when I was skating. So I uh, developed quite a collection of hats. So it was kind of a theme that I stuck around with. But a lot of people think that it's because I'm bald. I'm not really hiding anything here. I have videos on my channel with me not wearing hats. It's just a theme. You know, it's, it's just something that I like to do. It makes it easy also because when you're bald, you gotta shave your head constantly. Sometimes if I'm a little lazy and I haven't shaved my head recently, it looks kind of bad. I don't wanna deal with it, put a hat on. But a lot of people wonder about that. So hopefully that answers the question. Glenda Callahan asks a very important question. Do you eat mushroom soup or pepperoni pizza? I don't think I've ever had mushroom soup. I, I know cream of mushroom, actually. I think I've had that before. It's good. I like mushrooms, I like soup. Put them in a soup. I'll eat it. Do I eat pepperoni pizza? I do. Pepperoni pizza is not my favorite though. I think kind of my go-to pizza is just cheese. But sometimes I like like the weird specialty pizzas that have all kinds of weird stuff on them. There's one pizza, it was like a garlic chicken, I don't know, but it was good and I ate it. Gregor Hudak asks, to which countries did you travel? Well, to be perfectly honest, up until last year, I'd never left the US. I didn't even have a passport. But last year, my wife and I, we went on our 10 year anniversary. We went to French Polynesia, which is a little island in the South Pacific, way south of Hawaii. It's actually a grouping of islands. And if you've ever heard of Tahiti, that's where Tahiti is but we didn't actually go to Tahiti. We went to two different places, two different islands, I guess. We went to one called Morea, beautiful, by the way, unbelievably amazing. And then we went to a, another island called Bora Bora. And maybe you've heard of it. It's, it's like white sand and like super shallow water. And the water is like crystal blue. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it before. Those are the only two countries that I've ever been to. Isn't that kind of kind of sad. Pasta Protector asks, who is your most favorite YouTuber? Oh man, that's a tough question. I'm gonna go over to my YouTube here and 
I'm gonna look at the top of my list just to give you guys an idea of the channels that I watch the most. So at the very top of the list is Northern Lion. And I probably watch his content more than any other YouTuber because I like it a lot. And also he puts out a lot of content. And he was actually probably one of the biggest inspirations for me to just start doing this. But then below that is Braille Skateboarding. You probably heard of them. I really, really like their videos. I'm still a skateboarder at heart, although I don't skateboard all that often anymore. It's still in my blood. So I like their videos a lot. Below that is Braille Army, which is their slightly smaller channel that focuses a bit more on like actual skateboarding tricks and some very, very talented skateboarders. Man, those guys are good. And then below that is Grand Pooh Bear. If you've never heard of him, man, I really like that guy. So he basically plays Super Mario World hacks that are incredibly difficult. They call them Kaizo hacks and they are insane. And I've always loved Mario. So watching someone play these games and like decimate them, like he's really, really good at them. It's I love it. I love it. I've gotten super into that recently. Highly recommend if you if you like Super Mario Brothers and you like watching like really hard versions of Super Mario Brothers, he's very entertaining. Seems like a cool guy too. Man, I would love to collaborate with Grand Pooh Bear too. If you're out there, buddy, let's 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 work something out. Play some Mario destroy me and then just below that is andrew schrock who is also a skateboarder he runs a youtube channel he also has a skateboarding company called revive you've probably seen me wearing their hats every once in a while i'm just a big fan of of their products and kind of their their whole culture i like that they love skateboarding and some of them aren't necessarily like the greatest skateboarders in the world but they love it it's, it's a passion for them. And I really appreciate that they don't have to be the best in the world. They don't have to be the greatest skateboarders in the world, but they still just have fun doing it. And that's something that uh, I really, I really envy. One day, maybe I'll have my own skate park. That, that would be a dream. Oh my gosh. I would be there all the time. I would never make YouTube videos. Maybe this is not a good idea. Maybe we should, we should hold off on the skate park thing. But there's an idea of my top five I guess most watched YouTube channels. I think that answers the question. Okay, we got a doozy of a name here. I'm gonna try to, to say it. I think it's ya, Zhao Ying's ASMR. Have you always loved gaming and how did you start putting your time into gaming? Yes, basically. I have always loved playing video games. My mom recently found a picture of me when I was three years old, or maybe I was like two and a half. I don't know, I was young. I was like a toddler and I was playing Super Mario Brothers 3 on my Nintendo, my NES. And it's been a huge part of my life ever since. I mean, whenever I have a chance, I, I'm, I'm playing games. But more often now, I'm watching other people play games. It's just something about it is easier than actually playing the game. I know it's kind of pathetic, but it is what it is. That's life. Jaina Cliff asks, when is the baby due? I'm so excited and it's not even mine, LOL. <laughs> Actually, in that regard, like you guys have been super supportive about all of this, so I, I really do appreciate that. We're all very, very excited to, uh, to bring our boy into the world. He is due on March 1st. So when you guys are watching this, based on my schedule that I have, this goes out on March 1st. Third. So he is more than likely already here when you're watching this, like I said at the beginning. But hopefully that answers the question. March 1st is his due date. It's not that day yet because I'm recording this ahead of time, but whew, it's getting real close. Muffin Girl 2000, zero. where would you like to travel and why? I want to go to Japan. Seriously, I love Japanese food. I love Japanese culture. I, I watch Japanese shows, anime and, and dramas. And, and I even took a Japanese class when I was in high school, like language class. I want to go to Japan. Limitless Me asks, were you nervous on your first video? Yes. It was awkward. You know, it was weird. I knew that no one was really going to watch it because it's your first video. When you just start out a channel, chances are that you're not going to get like a viral hit on your very first video. It takes time, but I was still really nervous. It was just uncomfortable. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't, I didn't feel right. It was just, it was weird. So yeah. And actually, to be honest with you guys, sometimes I still get kind of weirdly nervous when I make videos. I definitely get nervous when I live stream. There's a lot of people just watching you. 
It's weird. But yeah, this just this just the way it is. But that's unfortunately all the time that I have to answer questions. Uh, I will do more of these in the future. If I didn't get your question, I'm sorry. There's just only so many that I can fit into a video. I tried to be as random as possible in picking the questions, but you can't pick them all. But keep trying. We'll do it again, and I'll try to answer your question. But again, guys, a huge, huge thanks for all of the support that you've shown to me and my channel. It's insane. Like, I still can't believe that this is real. Like, this, it, it doesn't even seem real that this, I'm holding this thing. It's crazy. It came with a letter that said that the, your YouTube channel is bigger than Vancouver. The entire city of Vancouver. That's crazy. But seriously. Thank you guys. It would be nothing without you. You've completely changed my life. I'm going to be a dad. I'm going to have a son. And it's amazing that I can do this. I This is my job. So like I get to work from home. I get to spend time with my newborn son. I wouldn't have that if I had my old job. I'd still have to work. You know, it's amazing. Thank you guys. You're making this possible. Unbelievable. I don't know what else to say. You're all awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But that's gonna do it for this video. One million subscribers, 10 million on the way. We just have to do what we did 10 more times. Easy, it's easy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little circle with my logo on it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.